so special. I think I could be your powers. Seriously. I know. Ah! Oh, hey. Nope. Nope. Marshall, watch the water bottles. Be careful. <laughs> okay. Now that we are rested, not overheating, and have some water in our bodies, we're gonna start trying to walk around this place. Pretty much we're just gonna try to see a nice overview of the city and then go to what is called the habitat. It's supposed to be a good little like nature walk through the through the forest. Full city? Huh? The full city up here? No. I'm saying we're gonna go to the edge of the hill and look out over Pinnick, oh. over Georgetown. No, there's not a full city up here. I'm realizing I don't know what this place is. <laughs> tower that's sticking out. This is where we're staying. We're staying, well, no, we're not staying in that. That'd be so much out of our budget. We're staying in that neighborhood though. I don't see that on here though. I don't see either of the things that I'm looking for on here. Okay, this way. supposed to be down there. Google Maps is not being friendly up here, which is weird because this is like a super popular spot where totally supposed to be. Okay, how? Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> Come here, my millipede. Go look in. <laughs> I was just trying to show the sign that I made it and you called me a millipede. I don't know what that is. I don't want to get that close. Now we have a thumbnail. <laughs> so I was fully unprepared for finding monkeys on our hike up here, but here I did see that there are monkeys, so we may encounter monkeys again. Hopefully they won't attack. We have no water bottle. Well, oh, we did get more plastic water bottles, but they're tucked away. So hopefully, hopefully they won't attack. So I did not know that it costs money to get into this part of the park. So we paid 120 ringgit, which is a little bit less than $30. So it was pretty expensive, but I heard, I've heard great things about this. This is what I was looking forward to most for coming in this park. We made it all the way up here. We didn't pay for the funicular, which would have been the same amount of money, if not a little bit more, I think. So why not? So we have about an hour to walk through this. And in an hour, the shuttle that'll take us back to the front of this park stops in an hour. So we have an hour and it's 1.6 kilometers. So Gotta kind of walk with purpose, but it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> they saw us walk in. All of those bugs just started making noise at once. That was so loud. Yeah. And now they're gone. Whoa. camera's picking it up, but you can see the ocean. You can see a little cruise ship or some kind of boat, at least, out there in the distance. With the haze, the water just kind of blends in with the sky. We found more monkeys. 
There's one right here, there's one climbing. There's one right behind this tree, a bunch over there that just moved. Oh gosh, you're already unfazed by the monkeys? I'm not unfazed. Do you see their jumps? Look at that oh my gosh. that's so cool. Oh, I hope you can see that on this camera. Whoa, that was an insane jump. I also didn't realize until just now that this platform is just crates and you can see straight to the bottom, so I hate that. This is the same view that we had from the skywalk earlier, but even better. I think we're, uh, yeah, at the highest point right now, just about. So we're getting very close to 6.30, which is when we were told the shuttle stops taking us back. And this was pretty much the last thing that we wanted to see. So we're just gonna turn around and walk back through everything that we just walked through. Hopefully that'll get us to the entrance fastest. Hopefully we won't be waiting around for, well, this way we won't be waiting around for a shuttle that may or may not come because it's 10 minutes left. We On the way not. to food. Yeah, we're gonna go get food. I was gonna say, we may not have anything eventful for a little while. So the next time you see us, maybe at a night market. These guys are literally, they're, they're stealing trash. Yeah, like, we, I was, we literally walked up, saw the trash, and I was like, who does this? And, and then I was like, oh, the monkeys do this. They, yeah. Menaces. One of them took a, like a, I don't know what it was, but it looked like a burger wrapper and ran off into the jungle. Look oh, look at him, him. look at these, he's, he's eating. Absolute don't menaces. You're gonna see your teeth, and no, don't come near me, don't come near me. Oh my God, there's another one coming. Oh. Oh my gosh, look, it has a baby on it. <gasps> it has a baby holding onto the, uh, I don't. That's so cool. Wow. That little baby is just lashed on. That's adorable. Wow. There's the mom. It was literally five seconds after I said probably nothing interesting is gonna happen. They are <laughs> literally right here. So we're having to walk back through their territory. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, we're going to walk through their territory to get back. I am so terrified. Like, I've never seen monkeys before. I've been waiting this trip. I thought we were going to in Thailand and we didn't. And here, it has taken approximately three hours for me to be terrified of monkeys. <laughs> they're still adorable, but they're vicious. They're awesome to watch from a distance. Yeah. So, quick opinion, was that worth $30 for the two of us? I like the monkeys. If we hadn't seen the monkeys before, then yes. Would have been more worth it. But it was still if, cool though. See him again. But since we did see the monkeys and it's such cl close proximity, before, oh, no. A dog. Yeah, that's fair. We survived our hike down with no more monkey attacks. No. It took a little over an hour, right at an hour from the top of the park to down at the bottom where we started. So it definitely wasn't nearly as bad as a hike up. We just got out of our grab at the Farlem Wednesday night market. We're starving. We have not had anything since it lunch. So good. It smells amazing, so we're gonna go walk around and find some food. Seems like it could be pretty spicy, was it? Oh, that smells good. It smells like a, a spicy peanut sauce. Oh, yeah. How does this, yeah, how does it compare to satay in Thailand? Way more peanut flavor. Yeah. Um, Sweet. Oh, I'm glad we got food. I'm glad you like it. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Mm. That's very peanutty. That's not spicy. No, not at all. I was expecting spicy. Mm. I'm so happy to have food in here. 
Yeah, I think I think that's some of the best I've had. Yeah? One of my favorite things in Thailand was banana roti, which is pretty much just like a crepe with banana in it and then some milk and chocolate on it. It's so, so some good. Some of them had eggs. Oh yeah, some of them had eggs in it. And we just walked by something that looks kind of similar, but it's it didn't look like it was called roti, so maybe something different. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Great, thank you. <laughs> What'd she say? She said banana. banana, sweet corn, and coconut? Yeah, that sounds amazing. I'm so excited for that. You know what I think that's gonna be exactly like? What? Our favorite snack in Thailand. <laughs> that we still that don't know the name of. I still don't remember. We, we took a video, I'll overlay it. But yeah, we love the snack in Thailand that was like these coconut milk balls, and sometimes it was just coconut milk, and sometimes it was coconut milk with corn. And so I think this is gonna be exactly like that. I don't know. I think this one's banana. It literally is just a little pancake. I love it. Okay. Yeah, this is literally just. This is just the roti that you like. Yeah. If it had like the the coconut milk, the sweet milk, or whatever it was, and oh, chocolate, yes. it's gonna be the same. Yes. Okay. That's so good. What is this? This one. not say sweet corn. What is that? It looks like like minced meat. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what it is. It doesn't smell like minced meat though. No, not at all. It could be like taro. Is that? It looks like that, right? I don't know. I have no idea what that is, but it's really good. I think I like this one better than the banana. Yeah? Okay. Awesome. Okay, now your turn. <laughs> and then the last one, which should be sweet corn. Oh, wow. That's amazing. The coconut? Corn. Oh. Oh. Is it coconut corn? No. Whatever that is, is where I thought she said coconut. She must not have said coconut. Oh, okay. Because I don't think there's coconut in any of these. They're all delicious, though. It's a great food night so far. You're liking the Farland Wednesday market. <laughs> in the middle of a street that was set up and put down every day or whatever day they did it. But this one, like, we're in a little lot. It feels here more like you're walking around a fairground or like you're walking at a carnival in the U.S. That's more of the feel here as opposed to, like, walking down a street in Thailand. Pretty cool. I like it. different powders it wasn't like in Thailand I, I mean I'm sure they have this here too but it wasn't like in Thailand where they did pretty much just like plop a fruit in there and a little bit of juice yeah, or something it smells delicious it smells wow that is so sweet definitely the most unhealthy one that we've had I am so fine with that that's perfect mm. This has been such an exhausting and fun day, and I think we're gonna end it here. I'm glad neither of us had to go to the hospital to get rabies shots for the attack of We only lost one cup in the process. Oh, I still have a few Those things were vicious. But we'll see you in our next video, hopefully still in Georgetown because we have a lot more to do here.